Hello YouTube. Today we are going to be using modern Mac OS to jailbreak iOS 6. So how exactly is this possible? Well, thanks to user a sentient bot on the legacy jailbreak subreddit, they managed to make post 6 pwn, the tool used to jailbreak iOS 6, work on Catalina and it is also confirmed to work on Mojave. Now anything apart from that like High Sierra, Sierra, or something newer like Big Sur, it's not really known at the moment, or at least I can't really test those versions out, but it does work on Catalina and Mojave. However, if you do have something like High Sierra, Sierra, Big Sur, anything older or newer, and you guys want to try this method out, then leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to update the description if it does work or not on those versions. Now, even though this is a modified copy, from what I've experienced, it seems to work just fine on the iOS devices that I've tried with it. Now, I'll leave a list in the description down below of what devices are supported by Post 6 Pwn, and there will be three links in the description. One of them will be the Reddit thread, but then two of them will be two separate downloads. One of them is a modified copy that has a version check, which looks at your iOS version. The other one does not have that. From my experience, the one without the version check seems to work pretty much all of the time. Now, in my case, this is an iPod Touch 4th generation on iOS 6.1.6. .6. The one with the version check did not work, but then I tried the second one and it worked just fine. So I would recommend you guys download the one without the version check, which will also be the first link from the three. You could also try the one with the version check, but I would recommend you guys download the one without it because it'll remove any potential issues you may encounter. So this iPod Touch 4th generation has been factory reset to show you guys that it's not pre-jailbroken or anything like that. So we could just go ahead with the setup. Setup as new iPod. And then here we go. It's a fresh install of iOS 6.1.6 iPod Touch 6.1.6. .6. This is an 8GB model. Cydia is not installed. And it's just a completely fresh copy. Now this is the Reddit thread. And again, it will be linked in the description down below. But this is the specific version I recommend using because it removed the version check. So that way it won't cause any issues on especially 6.1.6 .6 devices. And even if you have something like a 4S on 6.1.3, which a sentient bot had, you could still try that and it should hopefully still work. I have downloaded both of these and this is what the version with the version check shows and this is the one without. The one without is clearly identifiable by it showing 6.1.6 .6 test in the file name. And once you extract it, this is what you get. So there's going to be a lot of different files, but you only really have to focus on one main one. And that is the actual post six pwn tool. Once you click on it, this will pop up. Doing this for the first time, however, you do have to go into system preferences and go into security and it will ask you if you want to run the program. Now it does not show it on mine because I've already enabled it, but it will make you ask and confirm that you actually do want to run it. So you do have to go into system preferences and do that. Now you just have to plug in your device. An important thing to note is that even though it shows 6.1.5 in the actual program, that is just a typo. It does work with 6.1.6 .6 and it shows the iPod with 6.1.6 .6 and it will work just fine. So once we click jailbreak, that's pretty much it. We just now have to wait and it's all automated. You don't even have to use iTunes or anything like that.
And there we have it. Our device is now jailbroken and it only took a couple of minutes. And just to show you guys that this is indeed running on Mojave, this is on my 2012 Mac Mini. But of course this does work on Catalina. And again, if you guys wanna try this on something like High Sierra, Sierra, an older or a newer operating system, then leave a comment down below and let me know if it actually does work or not. We have Cydia. First time you open up Cydia, it will take quite a while for it to load and prepare the file system. And you will have to update Cydia because there are essential updates that have been released through the years. But once you're done with that, you can start using your jailbroken device. Also, a quick thing to point out is that even though it may say storage almost full, that is just part of the process. So you can just click on done and it will continue. When you open up Cydia, you'll get a screen to actually choose if you want to be a user, hacker, developer, that's basically just like the profile you're selecting and it doesn't really matter all that much. But then after that, it's going to load this database screen, basically saying that it could not find some files and it's kind of to be expected because it's an older iOS version, but you can just click on return to Cydia and you will get this. These are updates that have come out for Cydia and you could just do a, a complete upgrade. That way it won't bother you again for any more updates. So once Cydia is fully up to date, that's basically all you have to do. And the best part about Post 6 Pwn is that this is a fully untethered jailbreak, which means you can turn off the device, power it back up again, and all of your jailbreak themes, tweaks, apps, everything that you installed with Cydia and Cydia itself will remain on the device and you don't have to re-jailbreak or anything every time you reboot it. And there it is. We jailbroke iOS 6 on a modern Mac OS version and the best part is that you don't really need to use iTunes at all. So if you guys like this video or it helped you out, then be sure to support the channel and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.